Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and let's go find the perimeter of rectangle A, B, C, and D. So we have a lovely shape and some things are given to us here. We clearly have a rectangle of A, B, C, and D. We have a side length D to G is 11, and the length of E to B is 9. The inside little square here is in fact a square. All side lengths are congruent and the corners are all 90 degrees. So how do we tackle this problem? Well, we want to create some variables where we can. I like to see what is used often and give it the variable x. hg, that length, that distance, let's call that x, is repeated a lot. We have it here, here, and here. We also know, since this is a rectangle A, B, C, D, and inside the square, that these same lengths are, well, the same. B, C here, and A, D there. All right, so we got some more extra information here. Now I wanna tie in our length of D, G. Well, if D, G has a length of 11, and H, G has a length of X, dh would be that total length 11 minus whatever the length of x is. So we can write here that uh, dh, that length, is equal to 11 minus x, okay? Similarly, we can write that down here, that ae, same thing, right? X, or 11, <laughs> excuse me, so that's why we have erasers here. A little fun little cloth that can erase this bad boy. We have 11 minus and x. Now let's go apply the same idea here from, well, EB. If the length of EB is equal to 9 and the length of EF is x, the length of FB is equal to, well, 9 minus x. Now at the same idea here, we can apply that 9 minus x also is the distance of GC, 9 minus an x. Now, where do we go? Let's go find the overall length of DC. DC has a length of 11 minus the X plus the X, this distance here, plus the nine minus the X. Got a lot of X's and nines and 11's, right? Well, just repeating of X's. Let's simplify this. DC, the X, and minus X and X cancel. Boom, boom. We have 11 plus 9, which is 20, and minus the x. So length of dc is equal to 20 minus x. That's like, well, the length. What's the width? So this is the length. And then what's the width? The width here, well, actually, we can label it here, right? It's x. So the length is 20 minus x. The width, da, the length of da, is just x, and that's our width. So what's the form for the perimeter of a rectangle? The perimeter is two times the length plus two times the width, okay? So we have the perimeter here, two times our length, 20 minus x, plus two times the width, which is x. Hopefully I can fit it in here. Simplify that out, 20 across the board, or two across the board, two times 20 is 40. Minus 2 times x is a 2x. We subtract that, plus 2x. 2x's cancel lovely. And our perimeter here is 40 units. And so the perimeter of rectangle A, B, C, D, we found to be 20 units. If you have an idea for our next video, please let me know down in the comments section below. And as always, if you like this video, make sure you like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these fun math videos for you and everyone else. So again, as always, thanks for watching.